shining down at Cherry Parker Lee Stadium. We are ready for the nightcap in day one of the Tennessee Classic. It is the eighth ranked Lady Volunteers playing host to the Ivy League's Brown Bears. Welcome. 2-2 in. Ground ball up the middle, fall to her left, and there's one out in the top of the first. One up, one down for Orsini. Jasmine Shaw, the next up. And goes after the first pitch, soft contact, shallow center. Malloy ranges and collects. Two down. Through the left side of the infield, that is a two out base hit. Laurel Moody. You can see her breathing a little hard out there. She's got a lot of emotion, a lot of energy. 3-1, lazily hit to first. Panel smothers and steps on the bat. So Orsini works around the two-out single and finishes a clean top of this team. Ball four to the speedy Kiki Maloney. West. 0 for 2 against Stetson. Malloy goes running, swipes second, and now is hustling to third. Two free bags for Kiki Malloy. First run is 60 feet away. And there's that. Strike three swinging. First K for Guevara as West chases. Nice job, curveball off the plate, expanding the strike zone. At any, at any time, this ball could go over the fence. Right on cue, a boo blast. McKenna Gibson, Apo Taco, and Tennessee lunges to a 2 0 lead. I may be a fortune teller. <laughs> Great extension on an outside pitch, a curveball that just missed up. That's what, that's what a good hitter does. They hunt their pitch. She's noticed the tendency of Guevara to go outside. Guevara misses up. The pitch is a little bit elevated, and Boo takes advantage of that. Second home. Make her work fast to make her produce another home run or produce a walk. This is a big at bat. One that results in a four pitch free pass. For Destiny Rodriguez, the Tennessee sophomore. Taylor takes off and is caught. Mo Castens with the cannon. Calling for the for the video playback. Umpires didn't see it until now. Yeah, and now they unfortunately called timeout because she signaled to her ears that she wanted to do the video replay on the steal. Oh man, what a wacky spin and just hit her spots. Jammed Rodriguez hustling in. Shao snares it for the out. And the side is retired in the first. Tennessee jumps onto the board, a two-run blast. Pitch count, I like it. And Rossini home with the 0-2, another one. Back to backs. Berlinger here next. On a hop, smothered by Rodriguez, two out. Nice job by Rodriguez. Strike three, swinging. Second of the outing for Orsini as she has I haven't seen that yet. Swing and a miss. Panel goes chasing. Second strikeout for Guevara. There's footsteps. And come to Knoxville, play for Karen Weekly, pops it up, and the bunt is fielded by Moody on a basket catch. Graham Coach Malbo does a great job of coaching the hitters individually. That's tipped into the mid strike three. Chased off the plate, and a couple strikeouts in. In the air to right, Leach on the way back, and tracks it down in front of the track. Line to Gibson. Two down. Otherwise, in search of her third strikeout of the night, the 0-2 on the way. Off the helmet.
Northfield back in the first. In the air the other way, could be trouble. Leach on the run and can't make the catch. It's off the glove. Alexander windmilled around third and she scores. Brown is on the board. Jasmine Shaw providing the damage. Shout does a great job of letting that pitch travel deep, going opposite with it, coming up clutch. Leach just missed that. So it's a 2-1 game, RBI double for Jasmine Shaw. Comes on in relief for the fourth time this year. First pitch, fly ball to left. West is there, and the side is retired. It's about as efficient as it gets. One. And now the everyday shortstop for the number eight team in the country. Up the middle, her fellow shortstop, English, picks up the first out of the third. For Brown in the third. 2-1 offer, ripped up the middle to center field. Is it high enough and deep enough off the base of the wall? Malloy hustling around second. No signs of slowing down. It's a stand-up triple. Down, trying to wiggle out of a jam here. Payoff pitch on the way. West, takes strike three, looking. Miscommunication, that was just the second out of the inning, but McKenna Gibson digs in. Goes the other way. That is gap power. Opposite field. Double for McKenna Gibson. Drives home Malloy. And Tennessee's lead is 3-1 in the third. Gibson coming up, taking advantage of that pitch that missed a little bit of over the plate. These Tennessee hitters, you can't give them anything that's going to touch white on the plate or they're going to take advantage of it. Waited on it, deposits it to center field. Kirkpatrick windmilled around third. She'll score, Pooney to second, 4-1 Tennessee. This is a great piece of hitting. Good hitters can drive any pitch up the middle, and Pooney does that right there. of a low speed, kind of average speed. They really have to sit back and they're doing a good job of just driving the ball in the gap. Rodriguez, high in the air, left field, gone! Just carries out of the yard, Destiny Rodriguez. Third home run of the season and Tennessee has opened up a 6-1 lead. how long she stays in toe touch position before she puts that left foot down, gets her backside completely into it, comes up clutch, scores a runner, big hit, big hit. Unfortunately, sometimes when those wheels come off the wagon, they come off quick. A lot of game left. Taylor Panel drives it to left, and the two out rally continues for Tennessee. Pan One ball and two strikes, runner on first, two down here in the bottom of the third. 60th pitch is strike three, swinging fifth strikeout for Alexis Guevara. Season for the Lady Vols has such a so high softball IQ and told Karen Weekly and company, yeah, put me back there. Jam shot to fall, one out. Two hops to Gibson on the short hop, fires to first, two down. She seems to be doing okay. She looks aggressive. Let's see if she swings here. Flips it in the air. Panel. Retires the side. Perfect top of the fourth for Peyton Gottschall. A big challenge for the hitter. And there's the change up. Results in a grounder to second. Quickly to first, Alexander. in the air, deep right center field. Rodriguez on the way back. One hops off the wall. Katsoyanopoulos held up at third, two in scoring position with nobody out in the fourth. Speed. You gotta choose one speed, stay patient, and hunt that pitch. Hunting there, rifled up the middle for Kiki Malloy. Katsoyanopoulos in, fall behind her. A two RBI single for Kiki Malloy. 8-1 Lady Vols. 
Bravo has to be really happy with Kiki Malloy here sitting back, driving that ball straight up the middle, almost sniped the pitcher on the line drive. Hitting, all about rhythm and timing. There goes Malloy, throw to second, not in time. Off the heel and maybe fortunately for the Bears gets bounced back down into play off the. Catcher throwing from her knees, bounces the ball. Malloy gets up quick. Nice reaction there. Two on for Tennessee, west aboard for the first time. Second home run of the season, open the scoring. And she skies this to shallow left center field. Berlinger coming on and makes the catch. And the first down recorded here in the bottom of the fourth. Hit hard to third, smothered by Moody. Steps on the back for one, it's a double play. 5-3 across the diamond and even in two balls and two strikes. Gotchel checks the wrist for the sign and spins it home. Swing and a miss. First strikeout of the weekend for Peyton Gotchel. Gotchel in search of back-to-back -back Ks and she finds them. A backwards one of the books. Coming off of a 130 strikeout season. Looking to strike out the side and she does. Three straight Ks in the top of the fifth for Peyton Gotchel. Spins in the 0-1 offer. Kneeler drives it the other way to the wall and it one hops off of it. Hustling into second, a lead off double for Laura Mueller. Her It's sharply up the middle and gets into center field. Mueller trucking her way home and it is a game ending single for Taylor Panel. Up the middle, no hesitation by the base runner here. Great job. And Tennessee makes quick work in the home fifth. Well, back at it tomorrow for day two of the Tennessee Classic. Both of these teams will take the diamond for a pair of games on Sunday. For